What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We're here to watch Visions episode four, five, and six. If you want to watch one, two, and three, that is on a separate video. Of course, joined by Star Wars expert Michael Tesla. Follow him on social media. Use the force to leave a like. You know what to do. And as always, full length reaction watch alongs where you sync up with your own copy available for a super sexy rejects on our Patreon page. Thank you all who have joined us so far. But guys, our Star Wars Visions reactions are sponsored by a sponsor that I freaking love. Get out of the way for a little bit, Michael. Thank you again to MeUndies for sponsoring this video. Guys, I'm in a onesie. I've never owned a onesie and my epidermis has never felt more comfortable. Nay, I need a better word than comfortable. I feel... As snug as a bug in a rug. I obviously love their clothing. I went to the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 premiere and I even wore their Rocket Raccoon lounge pants and people would not stop talking about it. Easily the most comfortable one there at the event. And now I am venturing further into the galaxy, far, far away, you might say, with this limited edition print of Grogu, AKA Baby Yoda. Because the child himself, Grogu, has traveled across the galaxy and into our hearts. And now you can meditate with him in galactically soft undies, socks, bralettes, loungewear, and more available in sizes extra small to 4XL. Like I said, the new Star Wars print is limited, so grab this bounty now before it's all gone. They also gave me their shorts, which again is so soft and perfect fitting too. Even my wife loves to wear them. Speaking of my wife, I even got this bralette for her too. I said, take it off. I'm showing it in the video. Woman, she loves seeing me in this underwear. My Jedi mind tricks to keep her attracted to me don't work, but this underwear is doing the job. Wearing it right now, I've never been more relaxed on camera. Sitting has just generally never felt so soothing. But yes, Reject Nation. <laughs> The hype is real. If you're not impressed with me, undies, your first pair is on the house. That is a promise. So to get 25% off your first order and free standard shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash rejects. Once again, that is MeUndies.com slash rejects. And may the force be with you always. I hope they partner up with us again because, yes. is your final call. Whoa. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit. Hannah <laughs> City Flight Academy. It's our annual celebration of our pilot trainees and their families. Believe it or not, it's hosted <laughs> by me. <laughs> <laughs> Wench and Tilly. Oh! oh! An actual Star Wars character. This is canon. <laughs> this is canon. Wotini! Wotini! Pelly motto in there. Harrison, dude. That's racist, Greg. So, cadets, tell your parents. <laughs> also, Harrison, dude. <laughs> Still racist. R2. Oh, look at that astromech. I'm off to the academy. Bye, Mom. I am your mother. Oh. <laughs> 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 No. Oh, he's this Mando mask for welding. <laughs> Slinky dog. Slinky the dog. This is Red Leader. Here comes the Ryloth Roll. Aww. That's the planet they're from. Oh, oh, I made lunch for you. Ta da! Harrison Dula's on the poster. Her name's Annie. Apparently. <laughs> Fancy flight academy. You forgot your lunch. Welcome to the Anna City Flight Academy's annual race day. Be sure to check out the official Wedge themed products. <laughs> I love this idea that Wedge. <laughs> You're not racing. No, uh, oh, look at that. Make it. What a walkie. It's a shame. I was looking forward to racing your, what was it? Flying porta potty. I hate you. <laughs> Space tug, actually. That's it. Someone has to do the basic maintenance. Pork. Right? In the house now. <laughs> Good catch. Julian and Dorota Van they have that exact balloon at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> do they? Yeah. Why'd you let her talk to you like that? She's a total. <laughs> <laughs> the family race is about to start. No. Uh, <laughs> Racers, start your engine. Oh. oh my. That's inappropriate. <laughs> oh, it's their home. Oh, mother. Annie! Oh, 
Chris is blocking the race. Sorry for the delay to the family race, folks. Family race? Oh. No. <laughs> Silly Billy. Can you come back later? Clean up will be after the race. <laughs> oh. Annie, can you get your porta potty off the starting line? Thank you. Hey? Don't worry. We'll leave him. <laughs> Jesus, pissed off the wrong mom. Let's get strapped in. Why are we strapping in? We are just moving the ship, aren't we? Go! Nope. Always wear a seatbelt. <laughs> Family race is on! Can we please just stop? This is crazy. What? Racing? Oh, the fact you kept this entire event a secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oi, posh pants! Clean this! Oh, goodness. Don't let anyone in these days. Oh, well, you can't say that. Is embarrassing. You are embarrassing. No. Is that how you really feel? Yeah. I... Julian, mommy's waiting. Do it. Oh. <laughs> me anytime I play Battlefront 2. <laughs> <laughs> Z1, activate the stabilizers. Z1. <gasps> Take the controls. I can't, I can't fly this. Yes, you can. What is she going to do? <laughs> her mom falls out, dies. It's all her fault. <gasps> Hang on. Not so bad for a bit of old joke. <laughs> yeah, voice work is so consistent. Ah, yes. Who needs parents when you can win the race? <laughs> little Death little Star. Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cute. Hold on, Red Leader. Things are about to get bumpy. And yet another win for the Van Reeple. <laughs> oh, this junkyard racing vibe. That's so much fun. <laughs> Hold on! Here comes the Ryloth Road! Aww. See. Extraordinary. <laughs> Watch out! There's a- <gasps> Holy balls. <laughs> Watch them be last. <laughs> we have a winner! Come on, Zed one! Born to Eve! You did learn a few things at your fancy academy then. I've learned a lot from you. Exactly. I should have told you about the race. Even if you can be a little bit embarrassing. Of course I'm embarrassing. I am your mother. I am your mother. <laughs> I'm your father. Ah, well, that was cute. Yeah, that was a nice uh, a nice break from the serious stuff. I know. She learned to use the force at the end. That's what happened. That's, what, that's how these all go, right? <laughs> they all use, learn to use the force. <laughs> yeah, no, that was great. Uh, it's just another cute mother-daughter story filled with a bunch of cute little Easter eggs throughout. Uh, I'm, I'm not my, admittedly, not my favorite of the four we've seen so far. This was my favorite. Admittedly. No, no, yeah. not. But it was really fun. Uh, and... I think at the end of the day, that's the whole point. The whole point is to have the variety and to just have something that is just super adorable here. Like they're so family friendly, and I think, I think the other prior three are not like super family friendly. Uh, they're they're so much more mature in the way they're executed. But to have that kind of break with a little bit of that like British wit to it, uh, I thought was awesome. And I mean, the animation is still as like vivid and colorful as you'd want. I've never seen Wallace and Gromit. I've seen Chicken. I saw Chicken Run when I was like. <sighs> That movie like stresses me out. Seven, so yeah. I don't remember Chicken Run at all. Um, that'd be fun to actually react to that on this channel. Even though I've yeah. seen it before, it might be fun to react to that. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was still a really adorable piece that they had right there. Yeah. Little 
Hey, Greg. Break. Yeah. I want to watch the next one. Okay. <laughs> You're just trying to shorten, shorten the talk, are you? <laughs> I want to watch the next one. All right, we'll watch the next one. I want to hear about your there were chicken Easter eggs. run. There were Easter what? eggs, Michael. Come on. There I were, did it, so good with the Easter eggs, there were, there Easter eggs galore. I was, I was Borg. I was Harrison Dula. I saw them all. I got them all. Yeah, you did. You yeah. Sneaky guy. Oh, this next one's long. Let's see what's going on. That's so pretty. Is that dust or water? <laughs> Looks or like water. Mist. Yeah. Yes. Can confirm. That's gorgeous. Yeah, right? Thanos wins every time. <laughs> Read better. Interesting. They're like the watchers. Another will grow in its place. It's like a hydra. <laughs> Same. Why are the Sith and Vision so cool? Yikes. What is this weaponry? I think it's a biological part of them. Like a tail. Oh. This guy's like all for one for my hero academia. <laughs> I like that he branded him. I don't think Toll's the one for the job. I was gonna say, I feel like he's going through some things right now. Yeah, all their path to the dark side. So. Anger usually stems from fear. Hello there. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 That's humiliating. I like this odd couple. I would have. Yeah, that's easy credits. Like kind of job. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Sorry, that is just This guy looks just like Hunter from Owl House, and your fans will know what I'm talking about. Oh, damn. This mission was meant for him to confront this guy. Oh, I'm ready to make you a Sith. I'll start by killing you. God, I love this POV. Oh. Ship looks like Kylo's. <laughs> ah, yes, on the way to Bong Sing Se. No. It's a lot of anger, buddy. Too much anger, bud. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Cool reveal. It would be in the palm of the hand, lifting you up. Once 
What's the plan here? Ooh. <laughs> ah, cool. America. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. <laughs> Fiber crystals? Oh, that's really cool. Uh, what? They both found balance? <laughs> yeah, same. You need the balance. She's gonna help me. She represents the balance. <gasps> oh, I just got chill. <laughs> That's <was> cool. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sighs> To face your darkness. Off, off with your head. Is that Jonathan Majors in the statue? <laughs> they have some Ted's ass music. Jetpack? Jetpack. Parachute. Parachute. Miane. I'm so young and mission. No. Oh, it's time for him. Go down there with Jan Tamion. Pacus to eat Dan Yagizana. Hangs on Piona Sugate Dan and Gon. He mango Chalman Mancumina. Nante, cook Piram mission yoso. Nante do Piram mission yoko. You both got resolve. Uero Duragaso Kesok Sauja. Kunde Ujusoni Piroe. Duga one Johnny Kemo Goboroso. Spidonan Kunjunis of Shiwana get Poridora. What took about the Sedai Tigimania? Ujusan Paxeling, what she shimka Kamoji. Shot on the pebbles. All right. All right. We got ourselves the anime episode. It was gorgeous. It was great. I love the tone of it overall as well. Um, Michael, why don't you talk while I fix this little thing on screen yeah. really fast? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to fix this. <laughs> no, I, I thought it was, uh, I mean, it's just like a friendly reminder of Star Wars as a universe fits so well into the anime genre anime particularly for some of the more ancient stories it really really works it and does. i'm surprised they don't just make a show about something from a long time ago that doesn't necessarily affect the rest of canon this is beautiful i mean i think uh i will say i'm just a little tired of like the balance <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, like, it's becoming it, it, a little bit too reoccurring here especially yeah. in visions like i'm like did you guys consult with each other about the repetition well, of some I, of the stories I, I don't think that they did yeah uh, i like the idea of like they get the free reign but at the same time it is like it's becoming a little repetitive yeah i guess i just wish dig a little bit deeper that or being said this something, is something a little bit different i mean the, the difference comes in the fact that the animation itself is so much of a character and that character really does shine through here and like yeah. I, I love anime so for me, I'm like, this was a really enjoyable piece of Star Wars entertainment. That is like kind of like how a lot of anime villains behave. That kind of cold-hearted emptiness in the way they do the delivery and sense of pa like that that overconfidence in it and then a really yeah, yeah, aggressive yeah. protagonist who's dealing with anger. There's a lot of like good anime tropes in here. Yeah. And or also just Sith tropes. Yeah, there's <laughs> no, yeah, Sith tropes, but like really captured in the language of a lot of how anime, I don't want to make it sound like all anime is the same. It's just yeah. like there are some like very familiar anime I, qualities I'm, here. I might be super wrong, uh, but I got like a lot of like Korean influence from from this one. Uh, like outside might be. of just the, I, I don't know, I was just kind of the the vibe that I I got where it felt a, a very, I don't want to say very divergent, but it felt a, a bit divergent from like traditional Japanese anime. But again, don't quote me on that. Uh, I'm not an expert. In I mean, it's stuff like this when they take in, when they do the anime style that reminds me of things like Ghost in the Shell or like Cowboy Bebop, uh, mm -hmm. like where it steps past um, 
space opera and starts feeling like genuine sci-fi, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. And I thought that this really, that was really captured that. And like, yeah, the, the kinship of these two, I like the wraparound that they have with that girl. I think there's just so much familiarity, but it was still a really enjoyable piece with some really vivid, expressive animation again. And that's kind of like the, the main selling point of visions is the uniqueness in, in, in the v- the actual physical vision of what we were watching. I think they did a great job of capturing that and just see like it all done in like a Japanese culture. It does feel like a cool like alt universe. Yeah. Can we watch another one, please? Yeah, yeah. Overall, yeah. still another really great one, man. That was still, yeah. uh, still no, a great one. Super fun. Okay, okay. I see you. Damn dog. Heavy set stormtrooper. Fat stormtrooper. Heavy set fat <laughs> ass stormtrooper. <laughs> Spy dancer. We missed you. We missed you too. Oh, I've never seen you here before. You are so lucky. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a form of it. <laughs> It's a circus. What were you thinking, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> That's your spot, right here. Perfect. Let's sit in the house. You won't miss a beat from here. Keep your eyes open, you guy. Okay. This is really, really pretty. Ah, yes. Welcome to l'espace Moulin Rouge. Let me do more. You're not ready yet. Don't interfere with the show. The show is pointless. How can you still bear to serve these invaders? It is. Don't start. We talked about it. I have the two different colored eyes. I love the French Resistance vibes here in World War II. <laughs> yeah. Hey, John. We're nearly there, Louis. Until then, let's keep ourselves clear of the rain and the bloody troopers. Hey, did you receive my package? It's the French Resistance. I'm super here for this. <laughs> <laughs> Do these ones even work? Don't fret. Remember, I'll be able to follow every one of their dirty imperial steps on my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to fix our way out. That's all. Do you really think we have a way out, John? Yes. Oh my god, they're just gonna blow up everything? All those years helping the rebellion, and for what? Oh, come on. What we do here will change the tides for the whole galaxy. You sure? Soon, we'll all be free. Yeah, well, now fix your bloody machines for a start. I have to go. <laughs> she really put that away. Wow. Wow. Oh, going to kill them all. Facial hair, that's not regulation. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. (gasps) The one responsible for her family's death. Worse. Uh, that's her baby. Oh, that is messed up. It's all part of the show, folks. Are you okay? Take everyone and leave. They thought it was part of the show. Go out through the escape tunnel. Now, look out for John. You stay with him. This is now too personal. She's about to go in glorious bastards on this yeah. guy. Her chase is on her way with the others. What? Send someone to pick them up at the exit. What the is going on, Louis? I have one last thing to do here. Don't compromise the mission. We worked hard on Oh, this. my God. But this is the only way I can be free. Louis? Louis? Protocol droid. Good job, Greg. That you named a droid right. Yeah. <laughs> Vulcan territory. Eesh. Looks like Patrick Stewart. Oh, she's gonna have, good, have the greatest dance of her life. Katniss Everdeen, the girl on fire! Uh-huh. <laughs> the droid. Oh no, she stopped herself. You. Rebel scum! No, it's not him. Should have just committed. (laughs) 
Au revoir, Shoshana. Wow. Oh. Holy crap. Using silks to take down the empire? <laughs> nice. Oh, girls, get it done. <laughs> what, my god? Okay, I can do this. Come down. Whoa. What? Why are you freezing to kill this one guy? No. It's her son. Oh, is it? He like the eye patch covers the other eye. You're right. You're right. Good attention to detail, Mikhail. How old is she? <laughs> well, if it happened at the beginning, it's like a 20, 30 year period. Who are you? What do you want from me? I need answers. Oh my God. Take that off. Oh. Damn, she good. You go, Miss Marvel. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Feels, feels gory. About time, man. Twenty years ago, the Empire raided our village, took my son. What's that to do with me? He would be your age. Why do you hide your true nature? Uh, oh, wow. Aww. Okay. Oh my god. Oh yes, it's like Neo and Morpheus. Some very strong Frenchmen. What happened with that officer? No, I have a way back to him. And he has a way back to me. Hope. He looks just like me. Did he remove his eye, you think? Uh, yeah, they probably did that to just strip him of any identity to that culture. Because they removed his little mm. horns. Huh. Wow. Uh, that was a great one. Yeah, that was I, really, really good. I love that one. A lot of the, I feel like with Visions, a lot of the time, the main takeaway is the animation. And like this, some of these the stories have been really good, but most of the time it's... You know, you're mainly just like the animation's amazing, <laughs> and and for me, I stopped thinking about the animation, and I was just so hooked into the story. Uh, and this is the first one out of the six that we've seen so far, though, I was so pulled into the story, and it was so refreshing and different, and haven't seen something like this it in Star Wars. Didn't have anything to do with the Jedi, <laughs> yeah, thank uh, Christ. <laughs> which like. I, mean, exactly. I love the Jedi. No, I love, don't get me wrong. It's a yeah. certain point where you're like, all right, okay, yeah. I gotta get it. Light him dark. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it was a beautiful, uh, it, it just like a friendly reminder that like, you know, the French still know what's up when it comes to animation. Uh, I, as like a big history nerd, and also I feel like Star Wars pulls so much of its inspiration from World War II. No. I, I loved. No, no. It's like, it rhymes. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, it, I loved the like touching on the French resistance and using something that is so kind of uniquely French to tell that story. Yeah. Um, and in so many ways, like that story has happened so many times in real history. And I don't know, there's something really like that the moment of the hug, just like, ah, it did something like, uh, like that's all it took in order for him to in entirely change the trajectory of his life. And I think that's, a beautiful notion. Yeah, that was Spider powerful. saying hug me, Greg. Please. No, I'm not no. your father. <laughs> Michael, I am not your father. 
get away from me. Mom? Mommy? Yeah, no, I appreciate all, all the things in riffing on the historical context where you do feel like Nazi soldiers are walking to like, a, oh, let's go to this entertainment bar with these like attractive women and who do a show and stuff. Let's drink and have a good time. Um, but I also loved like some, some of my favorite World War II stories are like, I definitely don't know anywhere near as much as you, but the ones I am often, contest. I mean, but it, if it were, I would lose and I want you to know that you win here. Uh, and that's what America's all about. Winning. So, uh, one of my favorite stories, my favorite kinds of stories are the ones where it is like, um, the revolutionists are working undercover, uh, you know, like they're in high, they're. They will be like at the bars, they'll be at the pubs, yeah. you know, and they, they can sometimes be seductive, but they're like, those they're, Those are some like real life heroes who would pull that shit off. And I think th some of those are the coolest stories to see that implemented here is neat. But then, yeah, to have that mother son angle, which I feel like should have been way more predictable for me. Uh, I totally missed it. You got it. I thought it was great. I thought that was, it was just so different than something we've seen in this world. And it's something that I think is so personal and primal for anyone that they can relate to something like, I don't know if relate, but we can all attach onto or empathize in some way because we all have parents and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was a really strong one where I, I stopped thinking, I don't know. It would, it was true though. With visions, you, you usually are like, Oh, the animation. And, and then for me, I'm like, I just, the story no, I could, I alone was so I could good. not even tell you what the animation style is <laughs> yeah. now that I'm thinking about it, but yeah. the story is going to stick with me for a long time. Yeah. That's powerful. Um, yeah, because no. he doesn't even end in a way where you're like, it could go either way where he he could not believe her or he could believe her, and I like that it doesn't end in a definitive way that's open to interpretation of how the path it might go down, you know. But it ends on a hopeful note, yeah. And it's all about hope, Greg. It's what Star Wars is all about: hope yeah. and people learning about the Force and light and dark. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> <Pretty sticked. laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, that. Maybe not on an animation level is my favorite one, but from the story levels, this is this is one I feel like I, I truly will not forget out of out of all yeah. the Star Wars ones. Well, I think the best way to gauge a story like this is if you took the Star Wars out of it, would it still be a good story? And it is. And this one, absolutely. I mean, I, I could just very easily reimagine this as like a noir French film uh, yeah. during World War II, and it would be just as impactful to be like, oh. That's the little kid that was stolen from the village in Alsace Lorraine. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, that's uh, cool. That was really cool. I was really, really impressed with that one. I was really impressed with that one. Um, yeah, I love that one. I love that one a lot. What did lot. you guys think? What was what was your favorite? Screw their opinions. No, I love their opinions. Screw everyone's opinions that are, uh, that are not ours. We don't even know what you think. But YouTube does. Tell us what you think. Yeah. For, the video for algorithm purposes. For algorithm <laughs> engagement and bullshit. You know, yeah. You go, oh, what type of uh, thing? I don't care. I don't give a shit. Greg hates French people. <laughs> Especially the French. No, this is they, just like, they, I love, like, I know their culture's not, like, at the pinnacle that it once was, but every once in a while, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's why, it, that's why they were the ones that, like, made our industry. The Jews did. You know, it's interesting you say that. Greg. Let's cut. Let's cut in this video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>